Hi everyone. In this part, I want to introduce the notions of differentiability of functions. It is a concept that was developed over 200 years ago by two mathematicians, Sir Isaac Newton and Leibniz. The notion of differentiability of functions arises from the geometric problem to construct a tangent line to a curve. Let me now give some important definitions like definition of second line, definition of tangent line. A line joining two points of a curve is a second line to the curve and the slope of the second line is f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1. If we choose Q to be very close to the point P, then the second line will be close to the line tangent. Now let's have, let's assume that we have the graph of a function, something like this, okay, and we have also two points, P and Q, P and Q here, okay, and this line is second line. Okay, the line joining P and Q is called second line. And if the point Q approaches to the point P, okay, if the point Q approaches to the point P, finally second line becomes tangent line. In other words, if the point X2 gets closer and closer to the point x1 then the line second becomes tangent line what about the slope of second line again delta y which is f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by delta x which is x2 minus x1 it is the formula of slope of second line so what about formula of slope of tangent line line as i told you if the points if the point q approach to the point p or if the point x2 approach to the point to the point x1 then the slope of second line becomes the slope of tangent line so this is saying that the tangent line is the limiting position of the second line pq as q approach to the point p or x2 approach to the point x1 so the tangent line to the curve so the tangent line to the curve y equals x y equals f of x at the point p is the line through the point p with the slope okay provided that of course this limit exists and as, as I told you in my previous lectures, point slope form for a line through the point x1, y1 is given by this equality. We sometimes refer to the slope of the tangent line to a curve at a point as the slope of the curve at the point. Okay, so the slope of tangent line is meaning that the slope of the curve at the given point. So we have a question, show that the line y equals m times x plus b, here m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, actually, if you remember the formula, uh, show that this line is its own tangent at any point a, m a plus b okay m a plus b this is, this is also a mathematical a okay so how do we solve this problem we will directly use the formal definition of derivative as you remember limit when h tends to zero f of a plus h since we are actually looking the the slope at the point a is meaning 
the derivative at the point a so f of a plus h minus f of a f of a is divided by h is the formula of slope actually so this is equal to limit when h tends to zero so instead of f of a plus h i have m a plus m h plus b so since the function is m x plus b okay if you write a plus b instead of x here then you will have m a plus m h plus b and minus since the function is again m x plus b if you plug a if you write a instead of x in the function then we have m a plus b m a plus b okay divided by h and of course this is m okay if you substitute this expression you will see this is m and this is the slope this is the slope of tangent at the point at the point x so the tangent line the tangent line the tangent line at x the tangent line at the point a1 comma this is comma a a not a1 sorry a comma m a plus this is mathematical a a m a plus b is equal to y minus m a plus b is equal to m times x minus a or simply or simply y is equal to m x plus b so we show that y equals mx plus b is its own tangent line at any point a m a plus b